Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Vox channel. Today we're building premium and die high grade after corny Leo space type. And as I said, one of my favorite mass production MS. And I'm very excited on building this because I heard because I saw those pictures and it got a lot of accessories that you can mess around with and I have a very good expectation about that. And I also heard that Leo as a regular release don't really have any stickers so i'm very excited on building that so as usual premium bandai nothing to look at at the side just the cover and the cover is a leo charging in space and we can get it. so we got three packages and a instruction manual which has nothing special at all as bandai they never give some love to premium man that they don't make a new instruction book to you know go along with it as you can see we got a lot of weapon options we got it a lot a lot of it and we can clearly see it uh, we saw some crosses on the a platform and some probably uses oh so only a platform got some part that is not in use but anyway we'll start unboxing i mean not st start and rip off the uh packages and we'll look at what's the runner right so now let's take a look at the runner so this is the g1 runner it's brand new as from uh, is for the leo space type is is the backpack and i believe some of the part is the shoulder parts i believe and gotta say though backpack not really special is another typical two pieces bonded together and then just form a backpack but the details on it though it's an xg but you're not really gonna expect too much but the details on this is actually from the looks of it is pretty good and the next one we got is a six tap poly cap and then we got the b runner this is the inner frame i believe this is some part of the feet uh kneecap uh hands option legs joint and some hands joint as well you can look at it it's basically navy navy and gray color and this is the e1 runner and uh, this is for the this is a brand new runner as well it's for the weapons as you can see we have a lot of weapons option we got a jar rail cannon and we got some machine gun as well we got beam sabers in back part then we got a C runner. This is the, I believe this is the inner frame thrust, thruster, original machine gun, uh, some waste part, and then we can see some legs joint as well. And the pipe on the head. This is a A runner. Basically the outside armor of the Leo. We can see a gigantic shield here. Torso, waist, um, legs legs part and um some of the hand parts as our arms yeah and the head as well basically this is a, the a runner is just whatever is purple on the outside armor right so that's basically basically it no stickers excellent and you know i will see you guys at the review
Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Sevonix Review, and uh, this is the finishing of the Leo Space Time. Honestly, though, I think it's a, I think it's better than the original Leo uh, that Ben I released because the regular release don't have really much accessory to play with, and this one is complete. It's a couple of new parts, and I we got tons of weapons that you can pose and you can switch around. I think it's definitely very awesome, but. One thing that I don't really like about the MS is the color purple. Uh, it's it seems weird to put purple on a mass production MS because we usually saw brown, black, white, gray, uh, or you say like like dark green or green color or uh, whatever you name it. It's very rare to see some very bright colors on max production ms so i just need some time to get used to it but one more thing that i need to kind of say something about good about bandai is they make the whole gamma without stickers that's the part that i that that's that's the part that i like the most because usually from my experience premium bandai sometimes they just use a bland runner like probably white black gray and they don't give you any stickers and you need to do some kind of review of course the weapon you need to recolor it but for the new parts of the ms they didn't they didn't need us to do it and i think it's very good and by the way you do need to do some panel eye on the gunplay itself otherwise you can't see those details because those details is pretty good for a xg and anyway not going to talk that much let's jump right into the review so first uh, we're looking at it from the upper body so first let, let's need to mention the head is completely not movable the sensor at the head is a clear piece of yellow it's not any uh, stickers or anything the overall the head color separation is doing a very good job at the chest piece we have um purp mainly purple and gray ball joint at the middle of the waist but I gotta need to tell you when you move around it's very easy to fall out so please be careful when you're turning around because you might end up you know damage the PC unit I mean the PS unit and just be careful when you're moving the waist the waist is very easy to pop out if I move around like that you see it's very easy to pop out it's not it's, it's a problem though but uh, overall the whole chin you can move the upper body for about uh, 45 degrees so it's pretty good next let's talk about the hand the hand is actually very different this time they uh, normally uh, when you assemble a shoulder it will be not that annoying but this time it does do it does seem a little bit annoying when you assemble this sh uh, the shoulder but this time the color separation doing a very good job uh, as we can see the whole arm is able to move forward about a very less angle but it's still a good appointment and it's very hard to turn around 360 but you can't turn 360 because during there's a huge uh tube at the back so you can't really move it then the hand is a double joint but during uh the joint and the shoulder piece is too big so you probably can move about 130 and the head the, there's no any option hand down here you can move the you can move the hands around oh and also the shoulder piece here uh, is an individual is an individual piece here you can move it and also the whole shoulder can oh <laughs> see this is what happened so the shoulder is really easy to pop out but the whole shoulder could lift up barely 90 so uh overall the hands movement is just decent it's not very excellent or anything all right the new pet pack though is a very is a very simple backpack just uh, two pieces snapped together, not really, not really having anything special at all. But the backpack, uh, it looks pretty, you know, pretty special. But the backpack do have a problem. The the joint is not really that good, so you can, you know, simply remove it with literally no strength. So if you, you know, touch it, simply it will take off. But uh, if you, but something is possible though. If you don't want the backpack, you do have a small piece here. That you can use it and then put it at the back just like the normal leo but you bought this for a pack pack as well right so you don't want to do that uh the waist part here waist part here we have free thruster not sure why the thrusters position is here uh don't even know why uh, it's definitely no problem and uh, we can see two thrusters at the back as well and 
it's really good to do a small thruster separation because back in like 10 years ago, if you built something like this, that have a thruster at the waist part, they don't give you color separation. They need you to repaint it. But this time they did give you separation. So it's very good. Uh, overall, the legs is very sloppy and is it's probably too soft to do that. I would recommend you to do some tight joint now. The the legs joint here, ooh, the legs joint is uh, capable of kicking to the side for 70, kick to the back, kick to the back for a little bit during the thrusters in the way, kick to the front, no problem at all. And uh, bend a very good angle. It's about um, 150, yeah. And feet here is movable, 360 move around, up and down as well. But the problem is this piece of armor here, this piece of armor here is very easy to pop down. You see, if I just simply touch it, it would just go off. So I recommend you when you're messing around, just be careful about it. The whole legs, the legs part here is actually by a ball joint. So if you move it, if you over move it, it will pop out. So be careful when you move the MS. Be careful when you move the waist and the legs because they're both using ball joints and it's really easy to pop down. I, when I try to take some photos, it did pop out a couple of times, so be uh, be careful about that. Seems like a small detail though, but the waist part, but the waist part is capable of moving very, very, very slightly. It's not really any exciting news at all. You can just simply move, you know, very slightly. Uh, the front waist armor is very tight and it's not easy to move. Uh, but it's movable about 90 degrees and then you can pip it and then you can pop it back so nothing really special about it oh a side story so if you think this ms do look like the tall geese that i built before actually tall geese is the leo's uh the leo like max production type is leo and the original prototype is tall geese so tall geese is the prototype of leo so that's why they both look very similar the shoulder design the uh the chest design looks very similar because both of them is related just give you a little bit of knowledge if you're not sure about the gunpla now let's take a moment to introduce the uh accessory so first we got a corny type beam rival there's two uh, gun head that you can switch. You can either switch to the short piece or you can just simply pull it out and then replace it with a long beam head. Then we have two beam sabers, a normal machine gun. We also got a short type beam rival, a long type beam rival, a mega beam cannon, which also the handle is movable by the way, and a shield. Oh, by the way, the instruction manual didn't tell you how to equip the shield so i actually go to the uh go online actually check out the original leo's instruction manuals just to know how to put on the shield but put on the shield is very simple you just need to pull off this two uh one of the shoulders and then you pull off this great thing out of it and then you can install it like this and by the way uh, you can also put in the put the beam rival at this spot here as you can see the beam saber is in there uh just a reminder though the whole MS material is very soft, so be careful when you move around. I accidentally broke broke this part here. You see, it's falling apart because I when I snap on it, I accidentally broke it. So please be careful when you're moving the gamma around and when you're building it because I can tell you half of the materials on this gamma is very soft and very easily damaged so be careful when you build this is the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed this so this is the end of the review of the leo space time i seriously need to recommend you to pick one of this up because this is this got more accessory than the original leo although the color is looks kind of weird anyway let's not talk about the color but the accessory is seriously fun and overall the ms is very good no stickers basically you don't need to you don't really need to recover anything other than the weapons and I need to tell you something that this definitely will not disappoint you and it's very poseable as well. Although, you know, if you pose too much, it's probably going to damage the joint because mine, mine started to have a little bit of loose joints. So I need to t be take care of when I make some poses, but definitely pick one of these up. It's very good gunpla. Is and I think it's a pretty cheap P Bandai as well. If you find a good part, a good price, just, just buy one and then you can have fun with it and uh, this is the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed this be sure to drop a like on um, uh, my videos and you know you can comment about 
uh, comment about this Gunpla and subscribe to my channel for more Gunpla reviews. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.